It's not love to tell somebody, we won't talk about the things that are important to you. So, you want to talk about politics? No, we won't talk politics. You want to talk about money? No, we won't talk about money. You want to talk about Fukushima? No, we won't talk about Fukushima. That's mental domination. That's oppressing me. That's not loving me. Loving me is saying, what do you care about, Steve? Let's talk about the things you care about. That's love. Get it straight. If you love me, you will talk with me about things that matter to me. And not bullshit topics like, oh, Survivor on television, blah, 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 blah. The Voice on television. That's bullshit. That's nothing. That's filling your mind with garbage. Garbage. It's not good stuff. It's garbage. It's mental junk. What really matters? Well, the economy really matters. Let's talk about the economy. The government really matters because, you know what? They built a whole bunch of concentration camps to put people like me in when they get too hot and bothered. Oh, well, we've got to oppress the people, make sure they know if they get out of line, we've got a concentration camp for them. So you better be quiet and not say anything that upsets the apple cart. That's the psychology of the concentration camps, the FEMA camps. What the hell do we need FEMA camps for? Federal Emergency Management Agency. What's the emergency? The emergency is money has failed. It's a failed system. And no, we don't want to talk about that. That's off limits. Our business is to serve the rich. Don't forget your place in life. Go get a job and make rich people richer. Because that's what you're here to do. You're not here to evolve virtue. You're not here to make a better world. That's not your business. Don't you worry about that. The rich people will take care of that. They'll make a better world. Yeah. Have faith in money. Money will provide everything you need. That's the message from the rich. That's the message from the capitalist system. That's the message from our system. Money will provide all your needs. Just worship money. Yeah, yeah. Buy a lottery ticket. Be a pathetic moron, a money moron, worship money every day, buy your $20 of dot lottery tickets in the morning as you go to work. That's your job. Go to work and buy lottery tickets. You're freaking morons! Wake the hell up! You're not going to deal with Fukushima by buying a lottery ticket. It's not like you win. You win. The environment is clean and restored. No. It doesn't do a damn thing for the environment to win the lottery. Even if you won and you won millions of dollars, it's going to cost trillions. You haven't even gotten one-tenth of one percent of what's needed to restore the environment by winning the lottery. You're not even that close to it. Okay? Because Fukushima is going to cost us trillions of dollars. Trillions in terms of health costs. What's it cost if you get cancer? A lot of money. There's a lot of money to be made in cancer treatment. Tell the truth. So if you create millions of cancers, that's a lot of money you just made. Well, maybe you didn't make it, but somebody who invested in the proper corporations will make it because those are the corporations that are coming up with the cancer treatments. Cancer is big business and getting bigger all the time because of Fukushima and other things, chemtrails, whatever they're dumping into our food. What the hell are we importing food from Japan from? For now, after Fukushima, why would we import anything from Japan? Everything made in Japan should be banned. It's all radioactive, whether it's food or cars or clothing or whatever it is. Japan is a goner. It's radioactively polluted. Okay? Can we talk about radioactive pollution? Can we? Can we talk about the disintegration of the ozone layer? 
because that has something to do with Fukushima too. Nuclear power is a disaster. It's a mistake. We need to get out of it as quickly as possible. Anybody with an ounce of intelligence knows this is true. It's not a good thing. And when you ask yourself, why do we do it anyway? It's not because we need electricity. We waste a huge amount of electricity. Huge. We never talk about the waste. We talk about making more stuff, creating jobs, but not, well, we already have enough stuff. We don't need more stuff. We need to use the stuff we already have. We have 18 million houses that are empty. Who owns them? Oh, banks own them. Well, what do banks need houses for? They don't live in houses. They have banks to live in. And besides, banks don't even live. They're not living creatures. They're corporations. They're dead entities. They're legal fictions. They're not people. They're not living beings. So why are we worshiping banks and their property rights? Oh, they have property rights. What the hell is a property right? It's a delusion. You don't have a right to property that you are not using. I don't think there's any way you could say that you need it. You don't need it. It's greed. You have a right to what you need. That's what you have a right to. You don't have a right to greed because greed is not a need. It's that simple. You don't have a right to own property because the government gave you a piece of paper that says it's yours. What the hell is the government doing that for? You don't need it. Why is it giving you things you don't need? Because you're worshipping money and the government wants you to worship money. That's why. And why should anybody get a dividend on an investment? They didn't work for it. It's unearned income. Why the hell do they need it? Back to need. What do you need? Why aren't you? Why isn't everyone's need taken care of? Everyone, regardless of whether you're making a lot of money or whether you're making no money at all. Why aren't your needs taken care of? Is it because we don't have enough to go around? Enough food, enough houses, enough everything? Well, no, we have enough. Oh, but we can't let you have that stuff because you don't have enough money. It's insanity. That's insanity. If we have the resources and we have people who need the resources, this is a simple matter of matching them up, putting the resources together with the people who need them. It isn't about money. Money doesn't work to match people with resources. Some people get a huge pile of resources, and other people get a little bit of resources. We know this is true. So why are we pretending that this is a good system? It is not a good system. It's an evil system. It's unnecessarily destructive of people's lives. And the earth. And all living things on the earth. So why do we go on with this system that we worship like, oh, capitalism, yay, it's a good thing, yay. We worship capitalism, oh, yeah. We can make money without working in capitalism. What the hell? What's that about? That's about sloth. Don't you remember the seven cardinal sins? Don't you remember sloth is a sin? That's laziness. You don't want to work. You want to get money every month without doing anything. Unearned income. That's what capitalism's about. You didn't earn it. It's not something that you deserve. It's something that you get because of an oppressive system that portions out resources based on how greedy you are and how well you play the system, how well you play the game. So, we're here to play games? Yeah, apparently, that's what we're our purpose is, to play freaking games. And if you're at the top of the ladder, you own 18 million homes. And if you're at the bottom of the ladder, you buy a lottery ticket. That's your game. You worship money. Money-loving morons, that's what we've become. Money-loving morons. 
And I suspect it's not just America that's full of money-loving morons. I suspect most of the world is full of more money-loving morons. And it may even be worse in other countries. I think it likely is. Money's a horrible idea. It's a horrible way to run a world. Think about it. Please. You need to speak out. Tell the truth. Stop being so timid. Stop being so scared. Of, oh my God, what will people think of me if I tell the truth? Oh my God. Well, people can think what they want. But the truth has to be spoken. You have to say it with your mouth. You can't just think it. You have to speak it. People have to hear you say it. We need to talk the truth to each other. We need to have real conversations about things that really matter. Because how are we going to fix our world? How are we going to make a better world? How are we going to evolve virtue? Virtue is the good stuff. If we never talk about what's important, we're always talking about bullshit television programs. And the latest gossip. Gossip is not a virtue. It's none of your business. Mind your own business. You think somebody else's life is your business? Only if you're being helpful to them. Not if you're talking about them behind their back to make them seem like they're not such a great person. That's not helpful. Treat others the way you want to be treated. That's the golden rule. That's the way to live. That will lead you to all the virtues. Peace, love, kindness, respect, honor. There's one. Honor. Honor the truth. That's the right thing to do. You honor the truth when you speak it. So speak it. Tell the truth. It's that simple. Blessings.